Hello and welcome back to the Journeyman Save. I am Coach Leftfoot. It's a pleasure to have you with me. And I haven't got my lights on. Hang on. Ah, that's better. Right. Okay, that might not make a difference for you, but it certainly does for me. Today we have the UEFA Champions League first knockout round draw and the final two games before the winter break happens. So, as you can tell, we made it out of the Champions League group, which was very, very good. We ended up beating Sparta Prague 2-0 on the final day of the season, and we got of the season, of the group, and we got through because Inter, I think, drew with Chelsea. If we go and have a look at their schedule, their schedule will tell us right here. They lost 2-1 to Chelsea in the Champions League group E, which means we were the wonderful people that benefited, and therefore we went through, as we can see up here. The Chelsea on 14, us on 10, Inter on 9, and Sparta Prague on 1. So overall, a very, very good time to be a Leverkusen fan, and our form has been pretty damn good as well. We were last together for, I think, the Chelsea game. Uh, we beat Hamburg 3-2, went on to beat FC Pauli 5-0, who we've also got in the cup again, so I'm looking forward to smashing them once more we lost it into 4-3 oh, Marco Toss no that was the game we did because Marco Toss apologised for getting a hat trick and rightly so he should uh, Werder Bremen we put them beat them 3-1 we beat Frankfurt 3-1 we beat FC Ingolstadt 4-1 Sparta Prague as I said we beat 2-0 and we've just drawn 1-1 with RB Leipzig but we're in the goals again. It's, it's going okay. Uh, Demata has actually remembered how to score goals, which is very, very good. Uh, and as I said, today we'll be doing the Bundesliga game against FC Köln, and then we'll be doing the Polka DFB game against FC St. Pauli. And we'll be doing, right now, the draw for the Champions League. I haven't done it. I've pressed continue. So we're just going to find out who we get. We get Monaco, which is a very tough draw because they've got a lot of money and they're not afraid to spend it. Herving Lozano is one of their key players. I mean, he looks very, very good. And he's incredibly good on FIFA this year as well. His pace is just ridiculous. They've got Bellotti up front. Tielemans in midfield. Laporte, who I'm assuming they've bought well, yeah, off of Athletic Club for £66 Because obviously I don't have the transfer window done in here. Uh, Jose Gaia, Pereira, Pilic. I've never heard of Pilic. It's because he's a regen. And yeah, not looking too bad. They're going to be a tough one. Gabriel Jesus up front, 27 years old. How much did they pay for Gabriel Jesus? 55 million. Wowzers, that is a lot of money. Let's go and have a look at their transfer history and just see how much they spent. So they spent 168 million this year. They bought in 146, mainly with the sale of Sander Berge. 132 million they sold him for to Man City. That is extortionate. Wow, um, I wouldn't have paid that for him, but there you go. Uh, so that was this year. Last year, 139 million spent. The year before that, 109. You've got to believe me, because obviously the figures are behind my head at the moment. 101 million the year before that, and then well, 24 million the year before that. So all in all, they've spent rather a large sum of money. However, now we know we're playing them, we'll have to go and beat them, won't we? So when's that game? Because that'll probably be what we come back for. Oh, it's quite late on in February, isn't it? Now we'll come back before that. Probably Wolfsburg or something like that. Or maybe Gladbach and Dortmund to talk through the transfer window and see what's happened, see who we've brought in. But if we look at the competitions, we are third in the league. Three points behind Bayern Munich, so they haven't really managed to stretch their domination so far. Uh, us and Dortmund on exactly the same record, exactly the same goal difference, fighting it out for second place at the moment. But hopefully... Dortmund can take points of Bayern and we can take points of Bayern and then it will open it up a little bit. We're in the first knockout round of the Champions League against Monaco as we've just discussed. We're in the third round of the Polka DFB uh, against FC Foley and we won the Super Cup but we weren't here about then so as the board say that is not important. Okay. That's enough about that. Let's go have a look, quick look at the squad. Goals-wise, up the top, Alexander Isaac has been in superb form. We're actually playing him behind the front man in an attacking midfield position. Demate on 11, and then Havertz and Havit on both on 5. Assist-wise, they're a bit more spread out. So we've got Isaac on 8, David on 6, Dolberg on 5, Demate on 5, and Barrio on 3. Uh, and then top appearance maker at the club is Bernard Leno, the goalkeeper, as you would expect. Average rating over the whole season, Andrik Isaac, Alexander Isaac, as you would imagine, 7.68 with all those goals. Uh, and then behind him, Sven Müller at left back is having a very good season. And keeping out our backup left back, who I'm struggling to remember the name of at the moment, is like, there he is, Jan Luca Itter, who has just been. Uh, he's been quite good when he plays, he's just so frustrating. Always gets a yellow card, is always suspended for some time. 
um, is always in trouble or giving away a very easy chance to the opposition. It's just very annoying playing him. But anyway, we'll be back for the game against FC Cologne in two days' time. And this is how we line up for the game against FC Cologne. 4-2-3-1. In comes Billy, left foot for his debut for the club in the league, coming on at the right-back position due to the suspension of Hohenlix. And Berardi comes in to replace Dolberg, who drops down to the bench. Demat is up front. Isaac and Havertz join Berardi behind him. Vigel and Witt are in the middle. Muller, Barrio, Udoki... Uh, you do K and Billy left foot make up the back four and Leno is in goal as the captain today. They line up in a 4-2-3-1. Trap is probably their most common player, I think, that I'd pick out from all of that. And his stats have dwindled somewhat and he's on the transfer list. So I'm hoping that we can do well here. There is a palpably awkward silence as you enter the room despite the overall decent mood and the players are clearly disinterested. Okay, let's get them fired up there. I expect nothing but a win from this match. That helps somewhat. And then we'll go out there and passionately tell them I have faith in them. That seems to help. Let's get the game underway. Make sure all the settings are correct. Key and replays are on, ready to go. As Hip comes forward straight away for FC Cologne. Puts a ball in, Barrio with the header clearance, and they'll take the throw in. Trap with a goal kick. He plays it short to Sialta. Long ball forward and Udoki wins that. Isaac picks it up, looking in the middle, but isn't, it's a pretty poor pass, to be honest. Hip comes forward to FC Cologne. Can't get past uh, the left back, which is Muller today. Leaving Uzdoni puts the ball in. Cordoba heads it back down to Hip. Hip into Mukhtar. Mukhtar, poor pass. Left foot. Left foot. Can he get an assist on his debut? What a clearance. Oh, my word, Demar. That is a terrible... Terrible shot. I thought Billy Leftfoot was going to have the debut of dreams. So elsewhere around the country, Dortmund are playing Frankfurt and Bayern are playing Augsburg. All three of our games at the moment are nil-nil at the moment. So hopefully we can make the breakthrough, which would put us in a step closer to Bayern Munich. Havertz into Havit. Havit into Berardi. Berardi tackled and Hector will bring it away. Stefaniak into Pedrinho. Mukhtar out to Hip on the right-hand side, who seems to be pretty influential for them at the moment. But Barrio reads that well. Muller. Into Weigel. Weigel into Havertz. This is where we normally keep the ball pretty well and play these triangles that I like to see. Demart out to left foot. Left foot's tackled by Hector and now he's got to get up and sprint back because we're going to be outnumbered on his wing. Salmien. Salmien comes forward. This is going to end in a goal for them. I can feel it. I can smell it. Hip to Levin Oztunali. Back down to Hip. Gets to the byline. Crosses Udoki with a poor clearance and it's smashed into the goal from Hani Mukhtar. And I said it smelt like a goal, and it did. 1-0 to FC Cologne. We don't get the breakthrough, they do, which will slip us further behind Bayern Munich in the race, who are still 0-0, but Dortmund have gone 2-0 up with a Dembele and a Yarmolenko penalty. So all to play for at the moment. Bayern Munich have gone 1-0 down, and Dortmund still have a 2-0 lead. It falls to Barrio, who fires it in the back of the net. Just as we came back talking about that 1-1, we're back in the race for the title. Let's see if that has made an impact into the league table as Barrio fires in and Trap will have no chance from that range as uh, Bayern are still 1-0 down to Augsburg, which is a real turn up for the books because Augsburg really aren't doing very well. Well, they are actually in sixth. That's very good for them, to be honest. No offence, Augsburg fans, but you're not generally a powerhouse in German football. Oh, I ran out of breath. Havit loses out. Sal Minen comes forward. Stefaniak on the left-hand side. Ball in. Cordoba beats his man. Shoots. Good save from Leno. And he is keeping us in this game at the moment. If we can get another goal, I think we would be going top on goal difference as Leno makes a very good catch as we come forward. Out to Billy Leftfoot on the right-hand side. The youngster comes forward. My boy. What can he do with it? Plays it up the line looking for Berardi, but it's not the best of balls and I probably shouldn't be playing him in this game. Trap. Havit wins the header, Havert into Isaac. Isaac, who's had a pretty poor game, finds Demati, turns, is tackled by Heinz and it's cleared away. Udoki wins the header, Muller. Muller to Havit, Havit to Berardi, Demati out to Billy Leftfoot. Ball across to the back post, Isaac down for Demati and it's a goal and Billy Leftfoot was involved in that. 2-1, that may just put us top of the table. So it came into Muller, Muller out to Havit, Havit down the line to Berardi. Berardi Demati picks out Billy Leftfoot, who has been booked. Big long hoof to the back post. Isaac knocks it down and Demart is there to fire it in the back of the net. And that takes us into half time. So we'll go into the dressing room. 2-1 up. We'll tell them that uh, assertively things are going well. But I know you can do better. And I'm going to talk to them all. And just again passionately. Um, yeah you're doing alright. But I think you can do even better. Havert will have to keep an eye on. He's not having the best of games. So we'll start that second half and get it underway. We still sit second behind Dortmund, but 
all level on points, which is exactly what we want to see. Now, Augsburg, just hang on. Mukhtar over the free kick into Cordoba. It's poor. Yudoki picks it up. Havertz. Clearance to Demart. There's loads of time and space for him. Demart, what can he do? Down the line to Sven Muller. Sven Muller into Isaac, who heads over the bar from easy finishing positions. Really should do better. And although he's got that assist, I am going to take Isaac off to be replaced by Kasper Dolberg to come on in that position. If it doesn't change, we'll probably look to bring on... Um, Brett Higgins or Callum Bacon, one of the two, and see what we can do in this position. But at the moment, everybody's doing okay. We've taken off Isaac, and hopefully Dolberg can make a difference. So there's about 15 minutes to go. Bayern have equalised. They've taken the lead. Moyes Keane getting a quick fire double to make it 2-1. Wilf Zaha has come on for FC Cologne as Trapp looks to find him with a goal click. And it is Zaha on the ball, up the line, looking for Vokaja. But Yudoki will pick that up pretty easily. Back to Leno, the goalkeeper. Someone who I'm still might possibly look to replace in the January transfer window. Although he's been pretty good, he's just a bit old and we could do with a bit of young blood to challenge him. Left foot ball in Berardi. Demarte's there, fires it in. That's 3 1. That should be the game with 10 minutes to go. Wow. A, uh, Augsburg, come on, nick a goal back as Demart played it out to Billy Leftfoot. Leftfoot did very well, plays it inside to Berardi with a nice little low cross here. Berardi, composed, takes his time, finds Demart and in off the post. A great finish. Dolberg with the ball, another highlight. Havit into Havert. Havert's to Berardi. Berardi, Havert into Dolberg. Dolberg's in a goal, trapped with the save. And we can't put in the rebound, and it's cleared as Thrand Larsen hooks it up and looks to send Wilf Zaha on a bit of a counter attack. He beats one. Gives it back to Larson. Strand Larson's cross is blocked and he picks it up. Long ball. Looking for how Berardi wins the header. And nothing will come of that. And I'm just wondering if we make any other changes. I think I'm going to leave it as it is. Bayern go 3-1 up. So they get 4-1 up. They're going to keep their position at the top of the table. And uh, it's going to be how it was before this game started. But the win does keep us three points ahead of Hamburg SV, which is very, very good. Muller into Demart. This should be the full-time whistle if... The ref keeps to his time scales. Zaha has it on the left-hand side of FC Cologne. Good tackle from Havit. Hector will pick this up. Hector. In it goes. Udoki with a clearance. Zaha. Mukhtar's there. Vakoja. Vigo with a tackle. And that will probably be the game as Heinz has it at the back for FC Cologne. Into Sierralta. Sierralta back to Trap. Trap to Hector. Into Zaha. This highlight has been going on for ages. Just blow the whistle. It's been a minute over. We all know you're just going to blow the whistle. There we go. He does blow the whistle. 3-1. And that is the end of the game. Demart to get a man of the match with his two goals. Passionately, a very nice victory. Well done. That's what we needed to do. Very, very good. And for the second game of the episode, this is how we line up. Very changed to play FC St. Pauli in the cup. Leno in goal. Left foot, Udoki, Lovro back in at centre-back. And Muller joins him at left-back. Velocevic and Karaskal on the middle two. Brandt, Dorta and Fidel play the three behind Callum Bacon. Unfortunately... Mr. Higgins, you miss out in today's game because you are injured and you missed the game that you were going to be playing. So, on we go into the dressing room. The only change I do want to make is I'm going to come in here first and just tell passionately um, with the favourites. I expect us to go and win and then obviously we're going to come in here again. And this time I'm going to be assertive and say I have faith in them. We are going to go into the tactics. We're going to start on attack straight from the off. It just seems to be playing a little bit better for us when we do that. So we're going to do that, end the team talk, into the tunnel. Uh, we've said, yeah, some players will play here, others will play in the other fiction. It's a long season, and rotation is definitely. Kai's a very good player, and he, like anyone else, will be subject to sort of treatment at any given juncture of the season. Um, we've got a uh, yeah, that'll do. Time to time selection may differ. I'm not going to go into details about who and why people are dropping. I don't want to piss anyone off. So that's what we'll stick with. From the fitness of the players, it does seem they're playing their starting eleven that would generally play in all the games. So we should have the edge just there. The two fullbacks are probably the players that are struggling to struggle most for us. They do the most running, and Billy Leffert had a good game, and Sven Muller had a decent game before. They kept their positions, but other than that, it's all changed. Yudoki has the ball into Fidel, daughter. This is a chance for other players who don't normally get a game to impress, and that cross from Muller will not impress me. A flat back five for St. Pauli in this game. Adonis to Olsen, ball forward. Vecikovic is beaten in the air. Fluk brings it down, and they are definitely not committing men forward for this at all. again. Can't pronounce his name. Luther into Billing, into Stanikilovic. Muller with a header clearance. Krasnicki heads it back into the space, but Dorta picks it up. Fidel. 
Fidel comes forward into Vezkovic, into Brandt. Brandt's got an overlap from Billy left foot. He's in a bit of space. Swings across in, looking for Callum Bacon. And it's left foot to Bacon. That is the goal of dreams. My boy setting up a Patreon is what I've been waiting for all this time. Son to Patreon goal. Look at that. Callum Bacon with a great header looping over the goalkeeper from where he's just come from. And left foot with a wonderful cross to get the assist. That is a massive smile on a man's face. Uh, Udoki into Karaskow. Fidel, daughter. Daughter brings it forward into left foot. Left foot with a cross. Callum Bacon. Oh, it was nearly a repeat, but this one hit the outside of the post. And that takes us into half time. We have been absolutely dominating this game. A pretty good performance. And uh, we'll passionately tell them I'm happy with that. Keep it up. They don't seem to be fussed by that at all. We'll select everybody and passionately tell them. You weren't bad. I can believe you can still improve the old standard chat. If we look at ratings, um, Julian Brand's not having a very good game. Uh, Vyokovic in the middle and Karaskal, neither of them having a game. Fidel as well playing out of position. So we'll let him off a little bit. But we'll keep it as it is. At the moment, we don't need to bring on any reinforcements when we've got the creative force of Billy Leftfoot and the finishing skills um, of Callum Bacon up front. So let's see how the second half pans out. With about 20 minutes to go, we're going to make a sub. Fidel is going to come off and be replaced by Gal David on the left-hand side of the middle three. Uh, Brandt is going to keep his place mainly because I don't really want to risk Dimate. He's in good goal for and for him in the league. We might take off, I think we will actually take off Viovic and bring on Weigl, who is a normal player for us. We're just going to swap those two over. So Weigl plays in the position that he knows and does week in, week out for us. So two subs with 20 minutes to go. Let's see if we can hold on. Five-ish minutes to go and Carrascal has picked up a knock asking to come off. So we might as well bring him off. Thiago Matas is going to come on. Somebody who has been moaning a little bit about wanting first team football. He can play as a holding midfielder. So that's what he's going to do for the last five or so minutes of this game. Which have already gone by. Five minutes of added time. FC St. Pauli need to strike now. But we have the ball. Udoki up to left foot. Left foot into daughter. Daughter holds on to it into Weigel. They've gone to a more four attacking 4-3-1-2. Four, and uh, Luther intercepts that pass. But Weigel, who's just come on, does very well to intercept that. Left foot down the line for Brandt. But he wins it back. Elton Moraine Monterio. Sorry, Kustanis. Ball forward. Lovro reads it very, very well. Back to Leno. Ball forward. Gal David heads it down to Muller. Muller comes forward with the ball very well. Into David's feet. David to Daughter. Daughter back out to Muller. Muller looks to beat his man and does. Crosses in. Brand is at the back post. Heads it against the post. And that is unlucky that it didn't go in, but that will probably be all she wrote as Luther into Stigel. Rupp into Costalus. And St. Pauli need to do something now. I really hope they don't, but they are coming forward. Krasnicki. Krasnicki on the right goes past Muller. No, he doesn't. He gets tackled, and Muller comes forward with it. Bacon. Bacon comes forward out and he couldn't find the pass, Callum. You could not find the pass. Luther ball forward. Left foot wins the header. Matos is there. We just need to keep the ball. Not do anything too stupid with it. And we should be through to the next round of the cup as Muller comes forward. Cross in. Olsen catches. There's the full-time whistle. A fully deserved victory. We go into the next round of the cup. I'm not going to tell them that was disappointing. We won, so I'm just going to say a good win. As we go, marching on, we'll probably get drawn against Bayern Munich, who beat Wolfsburg, and Dortmund also beat 1FC Union. So the three big teams, or the three current top three in the Bundesliga, are all through to the next round. Karaskow's injured for three to five days. We'll let the assistant go and do that press conference. We'll receive a little bit more money, and we'll be back sometime after the winter break. Probably will be either Gladbach and Dortmund or Dortmund and Schalke. We'll see how it goes. And then, we'll, well, we're very close to the cup quarterfinal as well so let me know down below where do you think we need to invest in players in january do you think i'm an idiot trying to go for a new goalkeeper when we've actually been keeping a good number of clean sheets i think if we look at the bundesliga actually how are we doing in terms of um goals conceded so against we've actually conceded 19 the only team to concede less than us is Bayern munich and i'm pretty sure they're not going to sell us our goalkeeper uh, their goalkeeper who is kurt sals who isn't Actually, that can't be that. They must be the guy they played in the cup. Kevin Amos, he looks a bit better. He looks pretty damn good. Uh, they don't have another, so I assume their first team goalkeeper, yeah, 23 appearances, would be Kevin Amos, who is very, very good. But yeah, do I need to buy a new goalkeeper? Where else would you like to see investment? And who 
or what would you like to see change in the January transfer window? And what do you reckon about a next club? If we somehow win the Bundesliga this year, where should we end up going? Why not leave me a comment down below and let me know? But for now, we're going to end it there. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you're new, why not subscribe? You get new content nearly daily. I do post on Twitter when I won't be able to get a video out. So there's a little post to follow me at CulturedF on Twitter. There's some stuff about FIFA that I put on there as well and general football stuff. And always be free to start a conversation, ask me a question and I'll respond as soon as I can. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll chat to you very soon. I'm out. Cheers.